Well, kleptocracy has existed, we don't know how long, but it's a relatively new phenomenon and are beginning to understand it and beginning to understand it as a political entity. And why did we start it now? Because Charles and I founded the kleptocracy initiative. Uh, it'll be two years this summer, and it was one of the first projects we undertook. Uh, and it took us a year and a half to put it together. After I was expelled, people began calling me, or they began writing to me or calling me, and offering to give me documents about Russian corruption. And I began meeting with those, some of, the, some of those people. Now, not all of them were reliable. Some of them uh, turned out not to be. But some of them were reliable. In addition, I knew, just from general journalistic work, certain persons who were well-informed and who I believed would have materials, and in some cases they did. So that was enough to get, to get the project underway. We have Russia, Ukraine, we are going to be moving to Azerbaijan specifically, uh, Uzbekistan, and we'll see what other countries we move to. Uh, it's going to depend on the material and how we can access it. We want very much to move to China. It's been difficult to gather information on China and it takes a different approach. The other countries that are going to be very much included are Western countries, where we have the enablers. We need to take a hard inward look at the U.S., the U.K., and other Western countries where the money is being harbored. Historians or journalists who are writing stories can write better stories if they have archival documents. And it will only make their work more firm and make it more um, difficult to refute. So I think that journalists will benefit a lot from using the documents. It'll give them stronger conclusions. Um, I haven't uh, really looked at the archive yet, so I'm not sure how much I'll be able to use it myself. I'll certainly take a look, and if there are any interesting um, stories, particularly I'm interested in the topic of corrupt money that's flowing into Washington, think tanks, other organizations that maybe are not disclosing everything that uh, they should be. So I'll take a look at that. Um, I'm also an editor at Democracy Lab for Foreign Policy, so I'll be looking to see if there's something we can assign to other writers, other journalists. This is as much about us as it is about uh, the kleptocrats, and it's whether we will let them use our systems, whether we will let them launder their assets, ill-gotten gains in our system, buying our real estate, uh, uh, inquiring influence, all of these things. So it's very important that we maintain as pure a system as possible, based in rule of law, transparency, um, and if we do that, then the influence that the kleptocrats will have on our system will be significantly reduced.